Hey guys, I'm Jennifer Bands, and today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make these easy roasted Cornish hens for, you know, Thanksgiving or an easy weeknight dinner because these are ready to go in less than an hour. So let me show you how to make them right now. Let's go. So the holidays are coming up and sometimes you're just having a small little get together. Maybe it's just you and your family or just you and your you know significant other. And you just, you don't feel like making a turkey. You don't want to do any of that fancy stuff. Let's just make some Cornish hens. It's a little, you know, tastier than chicken. Um, a little more unusual than you would typically have just any day of the week. So we've got two Cornish hens here and we're gonna roast them in the oven. We've got our oven preheated to 400 and we're going to use some avocado oil and we're gonna brush the avocado oil all over each of the Cornish hens. Both sides. I'm gonna flip these with some tongs. Oh, they're slippery. Do it this way. Oh boy. Okay. That was much easier. So we're going to coat the other side with the oil. I don't know why, but the backs of chickens and Cornish hens just look so funny to me. While these are on their backs, or I guess they're on their bellies, we're gonna mix up our seasonings. We've got a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, I'm just gonna put the salt in there, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of oregano, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. This is like my go-to chicken seasoning. I just love this seasoning so much. I always use this seasoning when I'm cooking chicken. This is the seasoning I use for my air fryer chicken thighs, for my air fryer whole chicken. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle this over the back of our hen both of them. We're gonna flip it. Then I'm gonna season the other side with the rest of the seasoning. And you could even sprinkle in the cavity if you want to, any remaining seasoning that you have. So before I put these in the oven, I'm gonna tuck the wings And then I can wash my hands. Because these tiny little wings are just gonna disintegrate if you don't tuck them. Okay, they're all relaxed and ready for the oven. Okay, I got my hands all washed. Now it's time to put these in the oven. 400 degree oven for about 55 minutes to an hour. But we're going to use a meat thermometer and we're gonna check in several places to make sure that these are 165 degrees Fahrenheit before we pull them out. So in the oven they go. Okay, our Cornish hens are ready and out of the oven and the skin is crispy and they are beautiful and delicious and perfectly cooked. We checked with my handy dandy meat thermometer in several places and it was 165. So that's when you know to pull it. So these didn't actually take the full 55 minutes. These took 45 minutes. So you probably wanna check these after about 45 minutes to make sure they don't overcook because you don't want overcooked poultry. So anyway, check out this recipe. You're going to love it. This recipe is perfect for four people and a, and a nice side salad or a side dish. Um, for Thanksgiving or just any day of the week because, you know, like I said, it, it took less than an hour in the oven. And if you are also, you might be interested in my air fryer chicken thighs. It's one of the most popular recipes. If you're on Facebook, you can just go to jenniferbands.com and click the search bar and search for air fryer chicken thighs and they are out of this world. They're so good. Everyone just raves about those. 
If you're on YouTube, you can just click this box right here and it will take you right to the video where I show you how to make them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.